Okay, there's my vehicle. We're about to enter. Here we go. It's kind of dark in here, so I don't know what to expect. Uh, when we walk in, there's a downstairs. To the, we got to be real careful when we stop, when we step. We could fall through. It's really old. This is the kitchen. Over there is the, probably the living room. I see a bottle. This is a really old house. Okay, are we on? Okay, now, um, I know that I only showed you a little bit of walking through, looking down at the, towards the basement into the, um, uh, garage, which I'm sure nothing is there. It's very dark, and um, but when I walk in into the right, I showed you the uh, the kitchen, and then beyond the kitchen is the living room. I went ahead and I turned it off because I started to have a little malfunction. So I went ahead and I went in a little deeper, and because I couldn't get anything to really work, um, I went ahead and I felt this overwhelming presence of something. I did get the chills. And I'm actually kind of hot right now because I just finished taking pictures of a uh, of an abandoned uh, mini house that's right across the street from here, and that was a bit overwhelming. And I'm sweating because of all of the the walking, and I'm also wearing a uh, this this sweater vest uh, uh, almost near springtime. But I want to show you some out side footage right quick of something that I just noticed is how it's cracked and this house is so old um, I was I'll be honest with you I was actually afraid to walk any further when I got inside there I mean when I went towards the living room and I looked to the left there is a hallway that goes down to another room and when I started taking a couple steps down there I felt the boards the, uh, the ground feel really shaky and I got a little nervous thinking that it could fall because this house is so old. So I came out and I uh, went ahead and I shot this. So um, this is just part one of our investigation. We will be back with actual um, technology that I went ahead and acquired. So that way we can see if we can catch anything or anything of paranormal at all. So and just like that, I welcome you to Steubenville Society. <laughs> I'm going to have to redo that. Uh, the Steubenville, Steubenville Paranormal, Paranormal, Steubenville Paranormal Society. Steubenville Paranormal Society. And that's going to start hearing me go with me in this little house and the little shed that I just did that I just took pictures of and I walked in. And while I'm at it, I should just let you know that when I went up closer to the actual door, I tried to take pictures and I tried to click the button to take a picture. It just got blurry. It would not let me take a picture, I'm assuming because maybe because it's too dark in there or maybe something actually affected the fact that I could not take the picture. But while I was over there, it was a long trail and... That's probably why I'm sweating from all of the hiking that I had to do. But um, as for our first episode um, of uh, Steubenville Paranormal Society, um, I think we got something really cool started here. Even though we are in Mingo Junction, Ohio, um, we're going to slowly start to evolve and maybe even expand even further. You know, uh, Wintersville, all the way up to Toronto, who knows. I would love to um I would love to even go to Moundsville because I heard Moundsville Penitentiary is actually very scary. They do tours there and uh, I'm able to take all of my paranormal equipment along with me and able to get some like, some real footage there. That would be awesome. So that's actually something that I'm going to do in the near future, hopefully with a lot more people than my own than myself, excuse me. And so I'm just going to go ahead and take a one more shot of this beautiful house that we are uh, investigating first. And then 
If I take a couple steps over this way and if I try to scan over here to the side, you really can't see it because it's in the distance. But other than that, welcome to my docu-series. All right. And you would think that this symbolism would scare some people and actually question me, but in all, in all essence, all it really does is keep them away. So, let's get some action shots here for like a B-roll. Okay. 